Yo, what's going on everybody? It is Arcanize here and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm reviewing Spider-Man Far From Home in full spoilers. It's out now, so if you have not seen it, do not watch this review at all. Spoilers ahead. That's your warning. Let's get it. But I'll still be your super so, Spider-Man Far From Home. It has been released in theaters, and I am here to review this movie for you guys. I loved this movie. I thought it was very, very well made. It was fun. It completely closed up this Infinity Saga perfectly, and at the exact same time, set up the future of the MCU stylishly, hilariously, and at sometimes emotionally, but they never, they never threw something in there that just, like, killed your eyes. It was always, oh, and that was really good of them. Jake Gyllenhaal, my man, came in as Mysterio, and straight knocked it out of the park. Like, you gotta give Jake Gyllenhaal some credit, man. He came into this role of Mysterio, and he murdered it. I loved him in that role. And Mysterio, as a villain, one of the most comic book accurate villains we've ever seen. 100%. I mean... Quentin Beck was just like the Quentin Beck from the comics in this movie, which I loved. Plus, you throw in Joan Hall's performance, and I thought Mysterio was one of the best villains in the MCU. So, that villain problem, man, it is done. I am telling you, it it is done. And Tom Holland, as Peter Parker, is just so likable. Happy Hogan kind of steals the show. He was in this more than I thought he'd be. And he has some great moments. I loved everything with the drones and the elementals and the whole story of Mysterio. And that scene when he's in the bar after Peter gives him the Edith glasses and he goes through his entire evil plan. It is so... I don't even know how to put this, just menacing and awesome. Because Jake John Hall pushes that just sense of eerie, menacing, you know, villainy towards us in that scene. And the special effects in this movie, I have to say, were absolutely mind-boggling. I mean, that first illusion scene with Peter was crazy. When Mysterio, like, takes off his helmet and Spider-Man's in there, I lost my damn mind. That was pretty cool. And overall, man, they just balance things so perfectly within this movie. They had those moments that hit hard, like the plane scene with Happy and Peter. When Happy is like, all right, man, Tony's gone, and you're not going to be able to replace him. But what can you do? Because Tony chose you, dog, and Peter stepped up to the plate. I love the scene when he makes his new suit. That was such a perfect way to gift him that suit. It felt earned. He was the one in there making it. You could see the Tony Stark in him, but he's also his own person, and they, they nailed that in this movie. Peter Parker does not replace Tony Stark at all in this film. He's carrying on. He's carrying on that legacy the best he can by being himself. And I thought that was pretty cool. This whole movie is just about Peter kind of overcoming this big illusion. And you feel Mysterio's grasp on the entire film. And I also understood the side of Peter that just wanted to go on vacation, just wanted to relax. I understood that. He had been through so much with Tony and the big fight 
and the blip. And so he wanted to go on vacation and I understood that. This movie did a great job of explaining things from Endgame, how everything worked, and I understood all of it. So props to them on that. I also want to talk about the romance between Peter and MJ. Zendaya and Tom Holland, they killed it. They had chemistry together. I love Zendaya's dark, twisted sense of humor, but she also cares. You know she cares. And seeing that relationship develop through the entire movie, they did it so, so very well. If I have any complaints with this film, it's not much. Aunt May, I feel like we could have seen a little bit more hesitant with Peter and the Spidey stuff. Time has passed, but still, I would like to see a little bit of, oh man, Peter, I, I'm, I'm a bit worried about this. I thought they could have had some cool interactions with that. And overall, this was an awesome film. Definitely one to re-watch. I don't have many complaints. There are a few, but I, I just, I love this film. Everything about it, man. The ending and that end credit scene blows my mind. Like, Peter is outed as Spider-Man, and people think he ordered a drone strike. Where the heck do they go? That was, like, the best end credit scene. I, I don't care. That was an incredible end credit scene. I have no idea where they go from this at all but it was so cool to see Mysterio still playing that role because he said when Peter confronted him he had contingencies and then that piece right before Mysterio dies where he says nowadays people will believe anything when you really think about those words it kind of hits hard right as he's dying and I felt like that was a deserved death for Mysterio it made a lot of sense, and Spider-Man Far From Home is an all-around blast that knows when to, you know, dig into your emotions while explaining stuff, wrapping up the Infinity Saga, and swinging us into the new era. I absolutely adore this film, and I'm going to give it an A+. Plus. I had such a great time with this movie. Let me know what you thought of it down below in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.